Today we'll be going over how to obtain assets within Clip Studio Paint. Not the actual paint program, but the assets portion. Yeah. What's up everybody? It's me, Dreams with Dreams Impact Comics here. Today's video, I'm going to go over how to purchase assets using gold coins within Clip Studio Paint. Also, before I carry on with this video, I want everybody to know that this is a collaborative video that I'm doing with a good friend, King Sites. And if you're interested in obtaining Clippy coins, definitely check out King Sykes Art. He'll go over the whole process how to access Clippy coins. I already know what you're thinking. Gold coins, Clippy coins. What the heck is the difference? Apparently there's a difference. I'm be honest with you. To me, gold coins are more accessible. I'm, 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 I'm be honest with you. I rather, I rather just get gold coins and that's it. But you can get a lot of more extra crap through Clip Studio Paint if you have Clippy coins. All right, let's go get these gold coins. Once you once you have Clip Studio Paint, there is an extra software that comes with it called Clip Studio. Clip Studio is pretty much the, the hub of where you can get all your information. Um, it shows you some of your past work. It shows you your cloud. And also, before you even can even get gold coins, by the way, guys, don't forget to log in. Once you log in, you're going to go straight over here to the side bar over here. You're going to go to Clip Studio Assets and find brushes and more. <clears throat> and there you have it. You get a bunch of uh, scroll down until you see what you're looking for. If you see anything on here with a number and it says CP, those the CP stands for clipping coins. Clippy Clippy, uh, Clippy uh, coins or Clippy points, whatever you want to call them. But if you see the G next to that number, that is gold coins. You're going to click purchase gold coins. For myself, I already have gold coins, so there's no point for me doing it. And once you get to this page right here, it should ask you two different, uh, give you two different options. The two different options are gold auto charge. You can pretty much, you know, register. It says by registering and setting up your credit card in advance, you can automatically top off when your gold balance is low. Me, I don't like, I don't like my stuff just sitting out there in the wind. So I like to do the whole purchase one time thing and I don't mind going through the process over and over and over again. You're gonna purchase and you're gonna select whatever amount that you're looking for. So once you say enter credit card, you put it down here, you know, and then from there you hit I agree, purchase. And then from there you should see that number. You should see that number go up right here. But in my case, since I already have gold coins, let's go ahead and purchase this darn thing. You purchase. And if you see this little arrow right here in the corner, it said it pretty much says it's downloaded. And how do you know you have the asset? Let's open up Clip Studio Paint. And then we're gonna go over here to this tab with the arrow down slot, downloads, and it's the first thing that comes up. And all you have to do, if it's a 3D asset, drag, drop, it's its own layer. You get to control it how you want. And that's it guys, that's how you purchase assets using gold coins. All right guys, that's it for the video. Don't forget to help a brother out, man, by hitting that like and subscribe button, man. You guys, be careful out there. Stay woke, stay dangerous. Hey, Impact Comics.